All right, guys, in this video, we're going to start to work with MongoDB a little bit. Now, if you want to really focus more on MongoDB and really, you know, get into the syntax, which is basically just JSON, uh, I would suggest watching my MongoDB in 30 minutes video. Um, you could also benefit from watching my JSON crash course. Now, for some reason, with uh, the Git Bash utility, I can't get Mongo to start or the Mongo shell to start up. It just... Uh, uh, I think it has something to do with my path and uh, variables and windows, but it does work with the standard windows command prompt. So we're going to go ahead and open that up as administrator. All right. And I'm sure I could figure it out, but I just, I don't, I don't want to get into it. So we'll just use this and we're going to just navigate to the MongoDB folder, which is, is in my C drive. Okay. Wherever you put it, you want to go there and then into the bin folder inside of that. And then this is where uh, you can see Mongo EXE. That's the shell program. So we're going to just write Mongo. Oops. All right. And that's going to bring us to the sh to to the um, shell. And we can clear this out with CLS. All right. So what we want to do first is uh, actually let's do show DBs. So by default, we have this admin local uh, database. We don't want we don't want anything to do with those. So what, we want to create a new database. So to do that, we can say use and then let's just call this uh, node KB. And then you can see it, it not only created the database, but it switched us to it. All right. Now we're going to have articles stored in this database. So let's insert some articles. So to do this, we need to create a collection. So to create a collection, we can say db dot create collection. All right. And then we just want to put inside here the name of the collection. So let's say articles. All right. And we get this OK one. Now, if we say show collections, you see we have an articles collection. So now we want to insert an article into that collection. So we can say db dot and then the collection name, which in this case is articles dot insert. And then in here we're going to put a set of curly braces and we want to put each field. Now the ID is is going to be created automatically, so we don't want to put that, but we will put uh, a title. So let's do that. We'll say title and then we want to surround the value with double quotes. So we'll say article one and let's put a comma then we'll say author and I'm just going to put my name in there and then let's put another comma and we want the body and we'll just set that to this is article one all right so let's try to run that okay we get this n inserted one now to list all of the articles we can say db dot articles dot find and you'll see that we have an object here with an ID or, or underscore ID which is set to an object ID that was created automatically that's that's a um, a unique ID that we can use in our code and then we have the title the author and the body so let's create one more I'm just going to click the up arrow and go back and then let's just change this to two And we'll change the title to article two and we'll run that and then let's run find again and you'll see we have two articles. We can also attach a, a, a function called pretty so we can say dot pretty and that'll make it look a little nicer for us. So now that we have these articles in our database, let's go ahead and I'm just going to minimize that and we're going to go to our application and we want to install something called mongoose. So let me just look that up. We'll say mongoose JS. And this will give you the documentation. There's a lot in here. I'm not going to go through it, but um, I would suggest looking looking at it. We need to install it and then require it just like any module. Then we need to connect to our database. Then we can create a model. OK, we can actually create a model in our application, which will have all the fields and stuff like that. Um, and then we can create articles, we can read them and so on. So let's go over to our command line here. Make sure you're in your application folder. 
uh, and then we're going to just do npm install dash dash save mongoose. All right, so that installed mongoose. So now let's go, let's run node mon again. And then go back to our application. We'll go to app.js and we're going to bring in mongoose. And then we're going to connect to our database. So let's say mongoose.connect. And in here, we want to say MongoDB, localhost, and let's do slash. And what do we call it? We called it NodeKV. All right, that's the name of our database. And then we're just going to create a variable called DB, and we're going to set that equal to mongoose.connection. Actually, we don't need those curly braces. So let's see. I guess what we'll do now is create our model. So let's go to our folder over here and we'll say new folder. We'll call this models. And inside here, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it article.js. All right. Now, creating a model gives us some some infrastructure to our to our database. Um, no SQL databases like MongoDB. There's there's not much structure there, there. It's very flexible, uh, which can be a, a great thing, but it can also be kind of a downfall because your, your data isn't structured at all. So Mongoose gives us the opportunity to structure it on an application level uh, rather than being forced to do it on a data level like something like MySQL, because, you know, you have to create all your tables and columns and all that, even the, the field types. Um, but Mongoose lets us do that, but on a much uh, lighter level and also on the application level. So in this model file, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to bring in Mongoose here. Uh, let's say require Mongoose. And then we're going to create a schema. So let's say article schema. And we're going to say let article schema and set that to mongoose dot schema. And then in here, we'll pass in some curly braces and we can define our field. So let's do title. And we want to set that we want the type to be a string. And then we also want this to be required. So we'll say required true. All right, and then let's set the uh, author also going to be a string. And let's set that required to true. I'm just going to set them all to, to required. And then we have the body. All right. Now what we want to do is go down here and create a variable called article and we're going to set it to module dot exports and then we want to set that to the model. So mongoose dot model and then that gets passed in the name of the model, which is going to be article and then the schema. So we can say article schema. So let's go, let's save that and go back to app.js. And then what I want to do before we start interacting with the database is let's check, let's make sure there's no database errors. And we can do that by taking that DB variable. Let's just say check for uh, DB errors. Okay, so we'll say DB dot on. And we'll say on error then let's uh, function. Okay, and that should give us an error. And then we just want to console dot log that error. And let's also give a message if ever if we're actually connected. So for that, we'll say let's do check connection. 
and we'll say db dot once and then we want to pass in here open and then we'll just do a console dot log and we'll say connected to mongodb so let's save that and now you can see down here when we when it restarts it says connected to mongodb and if there's errors then it should display those as well so let's go down here and go to where we have our static array that we created and we're going to just get rid of this you can comment it out if you want to leave it there but i'm just going to get rid of it and we need to first bring in our model our uh, articles model so i'm going to go back up here actually and we're going to do that uh let's see let's do it right under where we initialize the app so bring in models and we're going to create a variable called article and set that equal to require and this is going to come from the models folder so we want to go uh let's see dot slash models slash article and that should bring it in and then we should be able to use that article variable so let's go down here where were we and let's say let articles equals article dot find or actually no we're not going to do that what am i doing we're just going to do article dot find and that's going to take in first of all a query but we want all articles so it's just going to be an empty uh an empty curly brace and then the next parameter will be a function and that'll take an error if there is one and then the response which we'll just call articles because that's what the response is going to be all right and then in here let's see in here we want to render the template so we're going to just grab this and cut it and put that inside of here all right and then we're passing in articles from the function from the query and then we're passing it to the view okay Now if there's an error then we want to check for that as well. So right here let's say if we'll say if error then let's just let's console log error. All right, and then we'll just put an else and then let's put the render inside the else. All right, so let's save that. and we'll go back to our application and reload and we get article 1 and article 2 okay so th these are now coming from the database if we were to go back to our mongo shell and add a new article let's just click up and then we'll add article 3 let's change the title and enter and then go back over here and reload now we have article 3 so we know we're connected to the database and we know we're fetching articles all right so in the next video we're going to create our add form which will be at slash articles slash add all right we're going to create a form and then we want to be able to submit to our database uh using mongoose all right so that's what we'll do next i will see you then